Hello, I'm CJ Windish, and welcome to Tinker and Build. Today we're going to learn how to use a relay with an Arduino. A relay is a device that is basically a switch that is controlled by a circuit, in our case the Arduino, instead of a person controlling a light switch. So the main purpose of using a relay is when you want to control large voltages or currents with a microprocessor, like turning a light on and off. We'll be using a SaneSmart 4-channel relay module. This module simplifies our life because it has the extra electronics right on board so we can connect the relay directly to an Arduino. The blue boxes are the relays, and these ones are capable of switching 250 volts in 10 amps for AC, or 30 volts with 10 amps for DC. The black boxes at the bottom are optocouplers. What they do is protect our Arduino from any stray voltages or currents that can occur with inductive loads like relays. They electrically isolate the Arduino from the rest of the circuit by having no direct electrical connection. More on optocouplers in the links in the description. To use the board's opto-isolation, first we have to remove the jumper between JDVCC and VCC. Next we need a separate 5 volt power supply to drive the relays that's separate from our Arduino, since our goal is electrical isolation. The YW Robot 5 volt power supply for breadboards will provide us a steady 5 volts for the relays. Make sure that the jumper on the YW robot is connected to 5 volts on either side. We plug in this 9 volt DC wall jack, which the YW robot converts into a steady 5 volts. Next, we place the YW robot into a breadboard and hook it up to the DC wall jack. We hook up the plus rail on the breadboard to JD VCC on the relay board, and then the minus rail connects to the GND on the relay board. This will give us an electrically isolated 5 volts. Hook up the Arduino digital pin 3 to the N1 pin of the relay board to control the first relay. Also, connect the Arduino's 5V to the VCC pin next to the N4 on the relay board. This is isolated from the power supply via Our the optocoupler. Our goal coupler. here is to control a standard light with the relay board, so we need to hook up a light to the relay's screw terminals. To do this, buy a cheap extension cord and cut it. Obviously, keep it unplugged while cutting it because there will be exposed wires. You want to cut the hot wire, which you can identify as the wire going to the small prong on the end of the cord. Cut the wire down the middle to separate the two wires. Then cut the hot wire. Slit down the two sides of the hot wire to expose the copper wire. With everything unplugged, take the exposed copper wires and clamp them into the screw terminals of relay number 1. The rightmost screw terminal for relay 1 is normally open, which means no current flows until the relay is activated. The center screw is the common. We connect the two ends of the exposed cord to the common and normally open screws. For testing our setup, we'll use a short Arduino sketch. We define pin 2 as the relay pin and set up the serial connection. In the loop code, we're just going to turn the relay on for one second, then off for one second, so the light will just turn on and off. Note, the relay is an active low circuit, so it turns on when you put low on the relay in one pin. Now for the final hookups. At this point, you'll be dealing with mains voltages, which can kill you. You have to be extremely careful not to let the exposed wires touch anything metal other than the relay. Connect the Arduino to your computer's USB port. Plug in the power supply, plug the extension cord into your light, and lastly, plug in the extension cord to wall power. I'm using a power strip here. Now the wires are hot with deadly currents in the relay, so be careful not to touch them. Compile and upload the Arduino code, and launch the serial debug port while you're at it. And voila! The Arduino is successfully controlling a heavy load light. I really hope this is useful in your projects, especially when you need to control something bigger than small electronics and LEDs. As always, links to all the parts needed for this video are in the description. If you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more tutorial videos like this one. That's all for now, I'm CJ Windish and this has been Tinker and Build.